Caitlin Clark just wrapped up her generational career at Iowa. And although it might not have ended in a coveted national championship win, her impact on the women's game has been historic, giving women's basketball a whole new level of excitement and popularity. It seemed like she was breaking records every time she stepped on the floor in college, and her historic performances make us wonder how quickly she will dominate at the next level once she's drafted. But that's a story for another day. For today, let's look at every record that Caitlin Clark broke in her college career. Let's start with her freshman year. Of course, all of the longevity records came later in her career, but it's worth noting that Clark was historic in just her first couple months at the college level. In mid-December, in a blowout win over Western Illinois, she had a triple-double, which was the first by an Iowa player since 2015. It might not have been her best shooting night, but she still managed to have 13 points, 13 rebounds, and 10 assists. On February 11, 2021, Clark posted a season-high 39 points, 10 rebounds, and 7 assists in an 88-81 win over Nebraska. Her 39-point total that night broke the single-game scoring record for Pinnacle Bank Arena, the home venue of Nebraska. By the end of the regular season, she was unanimously named Big Ten Freshman of the Year and landed a spot on the first team All-Big Ten. Plus, she set a conference record with 13 Big Ten Freshman of the Week awards and led the Big Ten with five Player of the Week awards. And let's not forget her incredible performance in the Big Ten Tournament, in which she set a Big Ten Conference Tournament record with 37 assists. Her averages of 26.6 points and 7.1 assists led NCAA Division I in scoring and ranked second in assists. And get this, her totals in points, assists, field goals, and three-pointers also led all of Division I as a freshman. She was also named a first-team All-American by the USBWA and landed on the WBCA Coaches All-America team. Clark also became the first freshman to win the Don Staley Award, which is given to the best guard in the country. She also managed to win the Division I Freshman of the Year, which she shared with Paige Beckers of UConn. She set Iowa program freshman records as well for both points and assists, and even broke the Big Ten single-game records for points and three-pointers made after her historic freshman year. Her sophomore year was equally impressive and filled with even more record-breaking performances and accolades. In early January 2022, her mind-blowing 44-point game against Evansville broke the Carver Hawkeye Arena women's single-game scoring record. She also became the fastest Big Ten player to reach 1,000 career points. That same month, she became the first player in either men's or women's Division I history to have consecutive 30-point triple-doubles. Plus, she became the first women's player in Big Ten history with consecutive triple-doubles. With her impressive play leading Iowa to a share of the Big Ten regular season title, she was unanimously named Big Ten Player of the Year and First Team All-Big Ten. But sadly, her season came to an unexpected end with a heartbreaking round of 32 loss to Creighton. But she still earned unanimous first team All-American honors and became the first back-to-back -back recipient of the Don Staley Award and the Nancy Lieberman Award as the top Division I point guard. With averages of 27 points and 8 assists per game, she became the first women's player to lead Division I in points and assists per game in a single season. Plus, she once again topped Division I in total points, free throws, and of course, triple doubles. Heading into her junior season, she really put her name on the map. She was unanimously selected for the AP Preseason All-America team, and to no one's surprise, was named the Big Ten Preseason Player of the Year by both coaches and media. The coaches knew how much of a problem Clark will be this season, as she continued to develop her game and break even more records. Because in early December 2022, she notched her seventh career triple-double with 22 points, 10 rebounds, and 10 assists against Wisconsin. Her seventh triple-double surpassed Samantha Logic as the Big Ten career leader in triple-doubles. As the regular season wrapped up, Clark repeated as Big Ten Player of the Year and landed a spot on the first team All-Big Ten.
And let's not forget about her performance in the Big Ten Tournament, where she led Iowa to back-to-back -back conference championships and earned herself most outstanding player honors. In the Big Ten title game against Ohio State, she recorded a triple-double with 30 points, 17 assists, and 10 rebounds. She became just the second player in Division I women's history to reach 10 career triple-doubles. It was also the first triple-double in Big Ten final history. But the historic performances were of course carried into March Madness of her junior season. In the Elite Eight of the 2023 NCAA Tournament, she put up an incredible 41 points, 12 assists, and 10 rebounds in a win over Louisville. She became the first player in tournament history to record a 30 or 40 point triple-double. And in the Final Four, she dropped 41 points, 8 assists, and 6 rebounds in an upset win over undefeated defending champion South Carolina, ending their 42-game winning streak. Her 41 points in that win were the most in an NCAA Women's Tournament Final Four game. And her back-to-back 40-point -back games in the Elite Eight and Final Four games was the first time any player in NCAA Tournament history had back-to-back 40-point -back games. And although she fell short to Angel Reese and LSU in the 2023 National Championship game, she put up an impressive 30-point and 8-assist night and still managed to make history in the championship loss. She made eight three-pointers in the title game, which was the most by any player in a national championship game. For her incredible performances throughout the season, Clark racked up every award possible, which included the AP Player of the Year, the Honda Sports Award, the John R. Wooden Award, Naismith College Player of the Year, USBWA National Player of the Year, and the Wade Trophy. Plus, she became the first unanimous National Player of the Year in Big Ten history. Her junior year averages of 27.8 points and 8.6 assists ranked her second in scoring and led all of Division I in assists. And get this, she set Big Ten single season records in points, assists, three-pointers, and free throws. She even tied her own conference record with five triple doubles as well. To add to her historic junior year, she finished with the fourth most points and assists and the third most three-pointers in a season in Division I history. If she's not breaking every record, she's getting pretty damn close. In her junior year, she also tied Elena Della Don as the fastest Division I women's player to reach 2,000 career points. And to top it all off, she won the Best Female College Athlete ESPY Award, the Honda Cup, and the James E. Sullivan Award. She made so much history in her junior season, and truthfully, it was the season that really put her name on the map. Caitlin Clark was now a household name, and people were ready to see how she would add to her incredible resume in her senior season, being named preseason Big Ten Player of the Year and earning unanimous AP preseason All-American honors set the stage for what was to come in her senior year. As the regular season got underway, Clark wasted no time in not just setting the bar high, but exceeded everyone's thoughts in every way possible. In just her second game of her senior year, she dropped 44 points against 8th ranked Virginia Tech. And in her very next game, she notched her 12th career triple-double, which was already a school record, but she also became Iowa's all-time leading scorer in this game. But she wasn't done just yet. On December 6, 2023, Clark became the 15th Division I player to reach 3,000 career points, doing so in style with 35 points against Iowa State, and she kept the momentum going, scoring 38 points and sinking 9 three-pointers from the Big Ten and Iowa's all-time assist leader. Heading into 2024, the latter half of her senior year, she was only breaking even crazier records. On February 15th, she became the NCAA Division I Women's Career Scoring Leader, broke the record for single-season three-pointers made, and also broke the overall women's college basketball scoring record, surpassing Lynette Woodward, who claimed that Clark didn't actually break her record at the WBCA convention. Anyways, on March 3rd, Clark accomplished arguably the most impressive record of her entire college career. She became the all-time leading scorer in all of NCAA Division I, men's or women's, surpassing Pete Maravich's record which was held since 1970. And the craziest part about this was, she accomplished all of this before Mar Steph Curry. 
And over the course of this past March Madness, she broke even more records, and most of these were broken before even making it to the championship game. In the Elite Eight win over LSU, Clark managed to break four different women's NCAA tournament records. She surpassed Tamika Johnson for the most career assists in NCAA tournament history, surpassed Diana Taurasi and Taylor Robertson for the most career three-point field goals in NCAA tournament history, tied Courtney Moses for the most threes in a game in NCAA tournament history, and became the first player in NCAA tournament history with three career 40-point games. After knocking off the defending champs in LSU, Clark was ready for another tough battle against UConn in the Final Four. Clark and Iowa managed to beat Paige Beckers and UConn in the Final Four in a tough 71-69 win, and we won't mention the controversial illegal screen call on the last UConn possession. Anyways, Clark managed to bring Iowa back to the national championship for the second year in a row. And although Caitlin Clark didn't have her storybook ending, losing to the undefeated 40-0 South Carolina Gamecocks, she broke three more records in the national championship game. Her 18 first quarter points was a women's NCAA championship game record. She also surpassed Chamique Holdsclaw for the most points scored in NCAA tournament history, and also officially finished as the women's all-time leader in points per game for a career, which breaks a mark held by Patricia Hoskins, who ended her college career 35 years ago in 1989. Caitlin Clark arguably had the greatest women's collegiate career of all time. She redefined women's college basketball with her record-breaking performances. Her impact helped women's basketball see record numbers this past year. It felt that every game that Caitlin Clark played in broke more and more TV and attendance records. So after hearing every record Caitlin Clark broke during her career at Iowa, how do you think Caitlin Clark will be in the WNBA? Will she dominate the same way she did in college? Are these WNBA players jealous of her? Let us know in the comments below. And if you liked today's video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on bell notifications so you never miss an upload. We'll see you in the next one.